This video contains mature and or graphic content. Parents are advised that these images may not be suitable for young children. Yes, not but, all but why, are why, tense, right? why do you do this? I'm curious. Are you hypersexual? You know, it, no, uh, absolutely not. If you want to know the reason I did, you just saw the beautiful children that you saw on the screen and uh, well, but it's all the one love thing, going it, around. And it's not just the, the kids. Uh, I've become very, very close with the moms, the prospective moms and the existing moms. And we have very close relationships. So They're not just it, friends. They're family. So you're doing it for the moms. You want to give them the gift of a child. I think it's, uh, when you think about it, I think it's one of the greatest gifts you can give, certainly. And you do have hyper, uh, you can have Super extraordinary sperm count. I was reading in the background. She's impressed by that. She's I, you know, I, 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 I mean, is it 80, 84 million per milliliter? And he's maintained. Is that, that like? I mean, that's a good sperm. That's that's pretty sure. That's like an individual okay. medley gold medal right there. Yeah. Yeah. And so he's he's been given that gift, and now he's giving. So I actually, you know, on the one hand, I applaud you because I clearly women who are struggling to get pregnant and they're looking for a sperm donor. In some ways, this is incredibly magnanimous. I, I applaud you for Very staying in contact person. as well, and I, and I do respect that, but I wanna talk about something that I know is tough for you, and that is that, number one, you, you're technically married, but also when your family found out you were doing this, they're troubled by it, they're incredibly embarrassed by it, and I know that has caused a huge strain in that regard. Yeah, my parents are old-fashioned, and they don't really understand the, you know, the 22 grandchildren that I gave them. You'd think they'd be proud, but they're not, and I don't judge them. I think that it's obviously, uh, you know, not traditional, and, uh, you know, I apologize. Maybe I could apologize to them on national TV. I certainly did not think that it would be uh, the sensation that it was, and in retrospect, I really should have yeah, kept it private. But, I mean, private. technically, you're, ha you're having multiple extramarital affairs is what... You're doing, right? Right. Well, I'm, I'm not sleeping with them naturally if, when I was in a committed relationship. Um, I have yet to find someone that uh, will uh, be with me that will accept what That I'm will doing. be very hard for you, I have to That's say. That's right. So, right. so, you're not going only, to, so this is something that you foresee continuing. And so if you met someone, and, and you are technically still married but separated, is that That's correct? That's right. You know, and, and obviously we wish you well in your personal life, but let's just theoretically say a few years down the road you're still doing this, and whether it's reconnecting with your current wife or someone else, they would have to understand that, look, if I meet someone on Facebook and they want me to drive over to their house and, and, and pardon my French, but basically have sex and... and Poor her, baby. You have to be okay with this. And obviously, to get someone pregnant, you can't wear protection, too. Yeah. Well, like, you know, sometimes I'll just put, um, put it in a cup and then hand it off to them, and the success rate is really the same. It doesn't really make a difference uh, which methodology I use, and you shouldn't really focus too much on the methodology. It's really about stories like Millie, where, you know, they're really struggling to have a child. I think yeah, so again, I think everything you're saying, I am, I'm so in agreement with. Again, my, my issue is only... The having sex the, part? Mentally, I'm, I'm struggling with that still, but I, I want to bring a reason. My head's because, spinning so much, I don't know what do I agree with. I, yeah, I, 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 mean, I, I mean, you're obviously, <laughs> you're a smart guy, you're a math professor, you're a good-looking guy. I, w I wish you nothing but success in this, and I, I don't have issues with that. But where I think things get difficult, and even you would acknowledge this, Ari, is legally, how I'm many times have you been I'm supporting two? nine children, okay. financially. As a math professor? Five. That's mm -hmm. tough. And sued by five. That's right. So, Ariva, I want to bring you in because legally this just seems not smart. This is new, and I've had a chance to meet Millie, and I understand what her plight is and how important this is to her, but this raises so many legal issues. There's the child support issue. So five of these women have sued Ari for child support, correct? That's right. And technically, all 22 of them are entitled to child support. That, and they could go into court in their respective states and file actions and could get awards for child support. So there's the child support issue. And then there's what's called the, the tissue banking issue. And you all are the doctors, but Ari said he's mailing sperm. That's technically engaging in, in the process of like operating a sperm bank. And most states have health and safety laws that prohibit individuals who are not licensed from collecting sperm, from soliciting people for that sperm, from transferring it. There's the issue of infectious disease. 
genetic disorders, all yeah, of those things that are screened when you go to a sperm bank.